Pets. A little animal teachers bring in to excite the class, or entertain them when they forgot to plan a lesson. And in school, I've had class pets twice. Once last year, and once in preschool. On both occasions, we have had the opportunity to name the class pets. And I must say, name ideas vary between the ages of 3 to 12. Let's take a look. Alright, preschoolers, what should we name the chicks? Sweetie! Grape! Posse! And now, on to the 7th graders. What should we name the fish? Trump. The F word. Yeah, name them the F word. Pretty big difference. But there's much more to these stories. So let's get to it. Starting off in preschool. Hello, preschoolers. I have a special surprise. Let's all put on our curious faces. What's the surprise? Probably nothing. She wise. She said to do me strawberry yogurt, but no, it's blueberry. No, no, class. Shush your mouth holes. What do you guys think about some class pets? Yes. Can I eat them? I hate the blueberry yogurt. I said shush your mouth hole, Tommy. You can eat our class chickies. Yes, we're getting class chickies. Now this caught our attention. I mean, baby chickens, what's not to love? Will we? Chickies? I'm over them so much, we're going to be besties. Yes, class, that's the spirit. Now follow me to see the eggs. There were six eggs in total, and that means six different opportunities for our class to express our creative names. I actually got to name one of the chickens, and I chose Daisy. I wish I'd chosen something better, so for video purposes, let's say I named the chick Lil Nugget. So starting on the top left, we have Baby, Grape, Zebra, Bobby, Dookie, and Lil Nugget. Now I thought that because I named Lil Nugget, this trick was mine. This right here was going to be the best pet I would ever own. And I was so excited for Lil Nugget to hatch. We spent weeks building up excitement, preparing ourselves for what we thought would be the greatest moment in our lives. Oh class, it's happening! Dookie's hatching! <coughs> yup, our preschool class just witnessed the miracle of life only to have our beloved chick, Dookie, die before our eyes. And you know what? We were pretty calm about it. Oh my Chewy is he dead! My little bestie is dead! No, no class, um, Dookie is sleeping. Are you kidding me? I know the truth! He did, friends! He did! This sent our preschool class down a spiral of depression. We didn't want to eat, sleep, walk, or even live. When a group of preschoolers doesn't even feel like living, you know that there's a serious problem. Even strawberry yogurt didn't lift our mood. And when the chicks began hatching, it only made our depression worse. Oh, class! Baby is on its way! <laughs> the next three chicks made it. Zebra, Bobby, and Grape were alive. But it was only a reminder that the other chicks had died in front of us. Only Lil Nugget was left. My preschool self held on to the hope my chick would be okay. We waited impatiently for Lil Nugget to hatch, but only for a couple more weeks. Hope was fading quickly. And eventually, my teacher opened the incubator, and boy did it stink. We all knew what this meant. Lil Nugget didn't make it. <laughs> For a while, I didn't want to get out of bed. I was just sad. But eventually I got over it. And honestly, that's about the only memory I have from preschool. Everything else is just a blur of craze, learning, and a lot of complaining about yogurt. For a long time after that experience, I didn't have any more class pets. Until seventh grade, when my teacher left mid-year, leaving us with a new teacher who desperately wanted us to accept her. Hence the class pet, a fish yet to be named. Hi class, brought you guys something you might like. Uh, it's a little class fish. And um, we're gonna name him. So come up with a couple names and we're gonna do a little vote. Name him the F word. Yeah, 
I vote for the F word. F, F word. word. F, F word. word. F word. No, I'm not naming our class fish the F word. What about sweetie? Yoda. Milo. Walmart. Because then we can say, who's restocking Walmart? Now, everyone thought that this idea was a pure stroke of genius. And honestly, it was. No way. We are not naming our class fish after some shopping company. Come up with some good names. So after a massive argument between students and teacher, she finally allowed us to choose our own fish names. As long as they were appropriate. I'm sorry to say, that meant no F word. However, at this point, we were pretty set on the name Walmart. And we didn't really care that much. And by voting day, we had decided on three contesting names. Walmart, Yoda, and Boba. Boba was only there because my teacher had pulled it along. No one really seemed to want it. No one intended on voting for it. It just didn't belong. Either way, we were psyched to have a class fish named Walmart. And when voting day came, my teacher made us put our heads down. Major red flag. But we continued on voting. When Yoda and Boba were called, silence. Yoda also would have been a good name, but we were determined to say who's going to restock Walmart when someone needed to feed the fish. And when my teacher called Walmart, you could hear the hands fly up. Victory. But wait. All right, class. Boba won. It was unanimous. Our class fish is named Boba. So that's why she made us put our heads down. The votes had been rigged, and we all knew it. Outrage broke out. Chairs were thrown. People tossed out windows. Okay, fine. Maybe that didn't happen. Though we were super annoyed and argued, my teacher wouldn't admit it. And there was no way we could prove ourselves. It was over. Walmart, our genius name, was not going to happen. So that was pretty sad. But a couple months later, online school happened. And boom, this fish now had to go home with my teacher. Not really sure what happened to Boba. He was still alive when we left school for the summer, and we haven't spoken to that teacher since. Eh, I would have cared more if the fish was named Walmart. Hey guys, welcome to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed these stories about class pets. I added a lot more dialogue into this video, so tell me in the comments if that made it any better. It sure did make voiceovers more interesting. Oh, and thank you guys so much for over 400 subs. That's crazy. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed. So that's all I have for now, but turn on your notifications so you know when I post. And thanks for watching.